Hello family and friends, we are back to try to do this oil change. We got the proper tool, read online though that the original filters, which is what's still on here, is not the same size as the new filters. This does fit the new filter. So, I may have to improvise a little bit. Hopefully, because it almost fits, hopefully I can just get it on there and tap it a little bit and it'll be good enough. But we're gonna check that. We'll check to see for sure what size nut that is for the oil. And then we'll do that. So Okay, so the drain plug is 14 millimeter. Have you heard that or not? 14 millimeter. And it's in here in an angle. Yeek! Because Polaris the new filters are a tiny bit smaller and the wrench doesn't fit right. Take try to take the step off. You could drive a screwdriver through the filter up at an angle. But if it doesn't come off, which I've never had one not, but it's always been on a regular vehicle, not a some small that you can't really get to it. Yeah, I don't know. There have been a couple different ones. Still trying to feed this back in here. I got it. Got it. Turn just a smidge. And so far, so good. It's like what I read online that the original Subaru filter, which is what that is, it's a little. Ah, oh, better. That new one better go on, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> have to beat the that little once I guess once I got it that little bit of a turn that I did there's enough for when I got this on there but now we have to kind of beat the tool off yes. still under here. it's the old yeah it's the old filter huh said so here's the old filter finally got it off yay funny because it went on good before and now it feels like it's too small. <laughs> I might have got it a little tighter than it needs to be. But... Yeah, it, it had a little, a little cut in there. So there we go. Got it on. Now we got 
still for replaced. Drain plug back in, oil drained, all that good stuff. The new oil in. I was a little concerned I bought the wrong kit when that day. Well, you want me to clean up this little oil that spilled? You got. Yeah, I can kick some dirt up here if you want. But. Man, I only have a few screws actually. One screw there. Screw six screws on the step, and then a bunch of those old clips. Okay, so let's get the screws back. Six, six actual bolts with nuts, lock nuts. I'm on the last one. Okay. Got all these little push pin clips. Seat back in place. Kitty litter over the spilt. Where are both my tires are way down. Uh, we can fix that. Yeah, so what you do is you pour kitty litter on these and you rub it in. And you absorb that part. Yep, perfect remedy. So we're finally done doing the oil change. It took a lot longer than I expected. Of course it was initial first ever oil change on it. Pliers apparently have a Subaru filter on them from the factory that's a little bit bigger than the tool that they that fits the new filters. So it took us a while to get it off. My son in law finally had to help it. He got it off after we assembled the right side of the thing to to get to the filter from the side so we get some leverage on it since the, the tool failed I guess I mean it worked to put it back on but anyway 
That's how you change oil on a Polaris Sportsman 550 EFI with EPS. Electronic fuel injection with electronic power steering. So, if you like these kind of videos, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Safe travels. Bye.